Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Abdul Muttalib calls all of Banu Hashim and the women. He says to all of his daughters, he said, when I die, what are you going to recite for me? They all begin to recite. At that moment, Abdul Muttalib says, he says that have one son, two sons, seven sons, ten sons, but pray to Allah for one daughter. He says, why? It says, because after your death, your sons will divide your wealth. Your wife will get married again. It will be your daughter who will remember you and cry over you. You've seen it's your daughter who cries for you. It says that a five-year-old girl is standing there. Rasulullah goes to Ta'if. They stone him, covered to head to toe within blood. Rasulullah begins to walk back towards Mecca. As he walks back, he remembers Khadija's just died. I have a five-year-old Yatim in the house. If she sees me in the state, what's she gonna say? Heart is hurt, tears in his eyes. The tradition says the small girl is waiting there for her father to return. One hour goes by, two hour goes by. She's waiting there waiting for the father to return. You know what happens? The tradition says this. Imagine this now, imagine this. Fatima alone, alone standing there, says Rasulullah begins to walk with tears in his eyes. As Zahra sees the face of Rasulullah, what does she do? She comes running towards her father. The first thing she does, she takes the small arms, she puts it around her knees because she can't reach her father. She says, Father, why don't you come down for? With her hand, she removes the tears from his eyes, the blood from his face. She says, Father, don't feel alone. If my mother has died, I'm here for your father. At that moment, Rasulullah says, he says, Fatima, you are my mother. That's the pain of Fatima. Fatima never had it easy within her life.